When we are young, fresh out of school, we are often fed this blatant untruth. Land a job, get a mortgage, work your fingers to the bone until you are old and grey, retiring at 67 if you are lucky. Does it seem like the path that I took to generate over $10,000 every month from my social media channels? Absolutely not. I have grown my YouTube account to almost 90,000 subscribers, my Pinterest account to 84,000 followers and over 10 million monthly monthly viewers. And in this video, you will learn how to make money and grow your business on social media. When you're starting online, it's hard to believe that you will ever make some real money from it. People often go after the shiny objects that promise them $10 million income and they just burn out before they earn even a hundred bucks online. My goal in this video is to help you avoid these disappointments and show you which monetization methods can make you money faster than others. I'll also talk about the methods that are more scalable in the long run, so you will basically know where to start when you have zero followers and where you're heading while growing your social media following. Here are the 7 most common income streams for influencers that I will cover and rate on the scale from 1 to 5 today. 1. Offering services or coaching. 2. Affiliate marketing, then selling low-cost digital products also monetization options on the platform itself, something like TikTok creator fund, ads on YouTube and so on. I'll talk in more detail about each income stream in this video, so feel free to use the timestamps in the description below to watch the section of the video that's most interesting for you. We'll talk also about brand collaborations, physical products and online courses or memberships. Now I want you to think about where you want to be in the next 12 months and within the next 5 years. How do you want to monetize your social media platforms? How big is your following right now? I don't know your situation, so you will have to watch this video carefully and pick one or two of these income streams that match your current social media following size. If you are starting from scratch or have a smaller following, I recommend you focusing first on those income streams that have the easiest barrier to entry and which would allow you to make money right off the bat, even when your following is very tiny. I think the fastest money-making income streams are offering your own services, affiliate marketing and selling low-cost digital products. I personally would start by offering your services, because in my honest opinion, this will be the fastest way to monetize your social media following. You already have a skill, a talent in a certain area, right? Since you don't need to create anything from scratch, you don't need any investments to make, you just need social media to find clients. So I'll give it 5 stars for how it's easy to start. This way you can start paying your bills and replace your day job pretty fast. The downside of this method is that it's hard to scale, because you still have 24 hours in a day and you can only raise your prices until the real market value is reached. So it gets only one star for scalability, but it's still the best thing to do when you're starting. Even when you have a very small following, maybe it's almost just maybe it's just your personal social circle. But if you use your social accounts to showcase your professional life, you can find clients without actually looking for them. For example, if you are a fitness influencer, you could offer personal training or nutrition coaching services and you don't really need a huge following, to be honest. Look at the story in Business Insider of this personal trainer who earned about $450,000 per year and she was mainly selling through her Instagram account, which at the time of publication had 63,000 followers. I checked her profile on Instagram two years later and it's showing a stable but not explosive growth. She is now at almost 90,000 followers. And if we go from the link in her bio to the site, you will see that she's selling here her coaching, consultations and so on. And I can tell you that I often see posts in my Facebook feed from these twin sisters immunology scientists who offer coaching programs and consultations to patients with autoimmune diseases. They make these simple Facebook stories and I see that they always share stories about their clients. So I think it's a thriving business based on a relatively small Facebook page with just about 6,000 followers. 
So again, you don't need millions of followers to have a more than comfortable income selling your services on social media. Now, the next monetization method is affiliate marketing, and it's been reported that affiliate marketers in the United States make on average $77,000 a year, with $128,000 being at the top of the possible range. With affiliate links, you can put them in the highlight section on your Instagram, or even create a link in bio with affiliate links to all your favorite products. Put that link on Instagram, TikTok, and even in your YouTube descriptions. On our ratings, I would give affiliate marketing about 4 stars for how easy and fast it is to start and about 4 stars for scalability, because you can create content that will live on the internet for many years and keep bringing your affiliate commissions massively. But you still need to work on growing your social media accounts all the time. On Pinterest, you're allowed to add direct affiliate links to your image pins, video pins, and to idea pins, so that users go from your pin straight to the affiliate offer. I even have a whole video on how to get started with Pinterest affiliate marketing. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. For example, you could join Tiamu's affiliate program, who kindly sponsored this video. Your commissions as an affiliate will be much higher than on other platforms. On Tiamu, commission rates go up to 20%. You can earn up to $100,000 per month even when you don't have a large following. Share the link in any groups, chats, coupon and deal websites on Pinterest, or even send cold emails. As a beginner, you can start making money by sharing your links to products on Temu in your social media accounts. So, if you cannot call yourself an influencer yet, even with a small following across your social media, there is no barrier to joining this affiliate program. And it's totally free to join, just sign up using the first link in the description below this video. In case you don't know, Temu is a low-cost, ultra-affordable online marketplace, and the Temu app is currently ranked first in the download ranking of iOS, surpassing the ranking of Amazon, CapCut, and even ChatGPT. They sell similar products to Amazon, but the prices are much lower, from household decor, cleaning products, and fashion items to children's toys and so much more. You will find something that works for any niche there. And you can use links from Temu on any social media, but here is an example of a smaller-sized YouTube channel, Simple Home by Nikki. She currently has about 5,000 subscribers and she shares videos about crafts, journals, her vintage finds, and so on. She made a couple of videos reviewing some products that she bought on Temu, and she shared her affiliate links in the description to her videos. And see what happened? She made over $1,000 in just a week soon after joining this affiliate program. And I made some extra digging into her account to show you that these results are pretty realistic. See, if we filter her videos by most popular, Right in the top videos, we will find at least three videos dedicated to Temu product reviews. Her top video got over 90,000 views in just four months. As a YouTuber with four years of experience and 90,000 subscribers on my own channel, I have to tell you, when a small channel like hers gets that many views in a couple of months, that is because the topic of the video, Temu product reviews, is really trending on the platform. And all she did was adding her affiliate link in the description below the video, and that's it. It's super easy, and you can start it on YouTube and on any other social media platform. Again, sign up through the first link in the description below this video. Now, the next method is selling low-cost digital products. Did you know that selling digital products is an awesome way to make passive income online? And when I say passive, I mean that you do most of the work upfront and then you just keep selling your product on autopilot. The best part about digital products is that your cost to create them is usually very low, especially if you do all the work yourself. And once you've created your product, you can sell it as many copies as you want without any extra cost. There are many types of digital products you can create, such as ebooks, templates, checklists, photos, and so on. So if you have a particular skill or expertise that you can share with others, then consider creating a digital product and then selling it online through your social media. The price of digital products is usually on the lower end, ranging anywhere from 7 to 
$49. And you can promote your products just by giving links to them in your profile on social media. Grace Beverly is a great example of how selling digital products on social media can be a lucrative business. She started as an Instagram fitness influencer while she was a university student. When she was late with her tuition payment, she made a quick ebook called 8 Week Workout Guide and then she offered it to her Instagram audience. In just one day, she made 15,000 pounds on this 35 pound ebook. Grace shared in her interview with Ali Abdal that she sold around 300 to 350,000 copies of this 35 pound PDF, making around 10 to 12 million pounds with a 100% profit margin. So I will give low cost digital products three stars for the easy to start, because you still need to create a product. Even if it takes you just a week, it's still some time that you invested. And I will give it five stars for scalability, because you can sell thousands of copies without any additional cost. So if you have an idea for a digital product, don't be afraid to give it a shot. And the next method I'll talk about is monetization options on each particular platform. And here I mean, for example, that on TikTok there is a monetization option called Creator Funds. The TikTok Creator Fund is currently available to creators in the United States, the UK, Germany, Italy, France and Spain. Other platforms like Pinterest and Instagram offered their own similar programs for about a year, but the rules were always changing and eventually both platforms closed these reward or bonus-like programs. The most reliable monetization native to the platform is offered by YouTube. It's called YouTube Partner and you're paid for ad views that users see at the beginning and maybe in the middle of your video and you get paid by Google AdSense because YouTube belongs to Google. To sign up for the program, you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. The RPM, revenue per thousand views on YouTube, can vary widely depending on a number of factors, including in which country most of your audience lives and the niche or the topic of your channel. But some niches tend to have higher RPMs than others. For example, finance, technology, business, health and fitness, all these topics tend to attract high paying advertisers. So for the ease to start, I will give this income stream about three stars because on most platforms, you have to achieve a certain number of followers or impressions before they will allow you to monetize. And it's not the most scalable model, so it gets just one star here because you need to constantly push out more and more content, get more and more views to get paid more from each of these platforms. The next method is brand collaborations. And here is how it works. Brands pay social media influencers to promote their products on their social media platforms. Depending on your niche and your follower count, you can earn a significant amount of money per collaboration. I found an interesting influencer income survey on Hype Auditor where they have asked 1,865 Instagram influencers about their monthly income. So it looks like nano influencers with under 10,000 Instagram followers earn about $1,420 a month on average. Then micro influencers, which is between 10,000 and 50,000 followers, earn $2,061 a month. And influencers that had between 50,000 and 500,000 followers earned about $3,517 according to Hype Auditor's data. Influencers that had over a million followers earned on average more than $15,000 a month. So it looks like this model gets three stars on the easy to start scale because you need to become at least a nano influencer to get into the income range of about $1,400 a month. 
and it gets only one star on the scalability rating because it looks like your income doesn't exponentially grow with the growth of your following. You can also check the estimates for your own social media accounts for free. For example, if you have an Instagram account, you could link your profile with a platform like Social Blue Book, and even on a free account there, you can get the estimate pricing for your sponsored posts. For my Instagram, which has about 7,000 followers, I can get paid about $200 for a Reels post. Influencer marketing platforms are an easy way to connect with brands looking for influencers to participate in their campaigns. A few influencer networks that I recommend for bloggers just starting out could be Koli, Heartbeat, Ambassador, Octoli, Influencer. The best part is that you don't need a lot of followers to land gifted or paid partnerships through these platforms. Feel free to get back to this part and rewatch it later or maybe even pause here so that you can point out their names. By the way, if you found this video helpful so far, give me a like, it really makes a difference to me and motivates me when I work on my next videos. If you want to get more online business tips from me in your feed, subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you have a bigger following on social media, I recommend checking out platforms like Social Fabric, Aspire IQ, Hashtag Paid, Maverick and Linkia. These platforms are great for landing partnerships with larger brands and they can offer even more opportunities to monetize your social media presence in other ways. Also, to find brands that are open to collaborations, I can recommend you checking profiles of other people in your niche. You have to see which brands they promote and try to reach out to the same companies. You also can do a search by hashtag ad or sponsored and that will also give you results with the posts that were sponsored so you can find these brands which already have budgets for collaborations on the platform and in your niche. Then I also see a lot of people are super stressed about their media kit. It's a pretty simple PDF file. It can have maybe two or three pages, nothing fancy. You can easily find lots of media kit templates on Canva and just add your own data there. Canva is a great online graphic design tool. I created my own media kit in Canva and sponsors really like it so far. Just start a forever free account using my link anastasiablogger.com slash Canva and just do a quick search there for media kit templates and you will get plenty of options. Now, the next way of making money on social media is selling physical products. There are many examples of successful businesses that have used social media to sell physical products. For example, MVMT watches. This watch company started by two college students used Instagram to showcase their products and build a following. The founders started by fundraising the first 3,000 watches on Indiegogo and they exited five years later with a hundred million dollars. They really put social influencers on the front line of their business growth. In a case study published on Maple, they shared that they worked with thousands of influencers who created 39,000 pieces of content for the brand. And VMT encouraged their users to post images of themselves wearing their watches using the hashtag join the MVMT. To date, there are over 160,000 images tagged with this hashtag. This led to 30,000 five-star reviews in a very short amount of time. For the rating, I think it's just one star for this method because it's not easy to start with physical products. You still need to know how to deal with manufacturers, delivery and so on. But it can be scalable, so it gets four stars for the easy to scale. The next way is selling online courses or memberships. So online courses are comprehensive learning programs that often include video lessons, assignments, quizzes, and instructor support. Memberships typically offer ongoing access to exclusive content, to resources, or maybe to a community of like-minded individuals. Online courses generally have a higher price range compared to ebooks or to other low-cost digital products. This is because online courses offer a more extensive and structured learning experience. A video online course usually costs several hundred dollars or even thousands of dollars, while ebooks are rarely priced higher than $50. 
I think it's a brilliant model for making money online these days. The pandemic has accelerated the adoption of online learning. Look, I made over $200,000 with one of my courses when everyone was freaking out in 2020, the first year of the pandemic. I never spent much money on promoting my course with ads. I probably should do that, but my sales were always based on the organic audience from my social media, including this YouTube channel. Now let's talk about Nunu, a talented 3D designer who happens to be my husband. So I know his story and I can show you some numbers as well. So he built a strong following on Instagram. He has now over 90,000 followers and he was consistently posting 3D design work, providing design tips, engaging with his audience. Then he wanted to share his experience with others and he decided to launch an online course. So he saw the potential to offer exclusive design resources, tutorials, and a supportive community to his followers in an online course experience. He also started a YouTube channel that has passed the 100,000 subscribers mark in a few years. You could think it's a very narrow niche, 3D graphic design and 3D rendering tutorials. It's not like he's teaching how to manifest your dream life by meditating on a beach, right? He has real professionally oriented courses, but still it is possible to build a great organic following on social media and have a six-figure online course business based on his audience on social media. I'd give this model two stars for the ease to start because, of course, you first need to create a product and for a membership, you need some content to share with your customers on a monthly basis. I'll give it four stars for scalability because you can sell your online course or membership program to as many clients as you wish, but of course, you still have to keep updating your product and you have to keep supporting your students or members, which sometimes can, can require extra people and resources in your team. Now you know what is possible to achieve with social media traffic. I think you might be interested in learning how I get about 80,000 monthly visitors to my site from Pinterest. Check out my next video up there, but not just yet. Subscribe to my channel first and I'll see you in that next video.